Hello, Thomas. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. It's the second day and a bit exhausted, but it's uh, <laughs> it's for a good charity, I say. I always say. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, and we obviously we've seen you here at Machina most years, I think. Yeah, actually. I've been uh, here every time. So yes. yeah, fantastic. So you've got one of my, I, I will say it, all-time favorite sequences, Nerd Seek. Um, one of the reasons I love this, and I never really started out with trackers, and it's fair to say that this is based yeah, around yes, trackers. Yes. I mean, one of the things is, I mean, for its size, you've got the six, you've got CV, trigger, and mod. And mod, mod can actually also be CV it's as the same, well. It's the same thing, it's just... Uh, um, yeah. And so, for bang for buck, for me, I've always enjoyed using this. and. So I've used it live, I use it in the studio, and it's made me think about composition in different ways because it is a tracker-based um, sequencer. And um, it's grown and grown and grown. There is some depths in here I haven't even got into myself, <laughs> admittedly. Yeah, yeah for, for most of the people don't, yeah. actually. Yeah. <laughs> so. uh, it, goes, it goes deep. Um, but today you've got a new firmware as well. There's a there's a further evolution. Yes, I, I just uh, made on uh, last uh, Friday I made a, a new major firmware release, and uh, so yeah, it's been in the field since eight years already, and I'm continue upgrading and adding stuff and yeah. adding features uh, based on feature requests, based on my own ideas, and yeah, and sometimes like spontaneous things that I just <laughs> do in there because I think oh that's cool. Yeah. Or uh, um, yeah. So and, and uh, why is it major? Because uh, um, uh, basically the uh, nuts could do everything already. Now not everything, but it could be very much, and uh, what you can imagine. And I had the Vita Expander, which is out there since uh, I think four years, which is here. This is the video expander. It's a video expander. Yeah. It's an HDMI output, composite output, and uh, the connection for a computer keyboard. And it's actually there to, to get to the small screen onto the big screen. So we can have it like that. Yeah, so that's, that's uh, what, it, what it has been for the last uh, three, four years. Yeah. And with the new uh, Nerdsec firmware updates, uh, I just added a video synthesizer into the video expander. <laughs> so uh, wow. this is uh, based, uh, based on the shaders. Yeah. And, and it's totally integrated in the uh, Nerdsec uh, workflow. So, and it's uh, quite nice because it's a free update and uh, people get a video successor for free if they got the video expander. And Amazing. if they don't have one, it's not so expensive. So that's uh, also a good addition for it. Yeah. But it needs to nerd of course. How much is the uh, video expander? Should I think it's two, uh, 240 in the shop. 240. Yes, yes. And of course, live visuals, playing live, or just being in the studio when you're making music. Yes, yes. To have something maybe to inspire you, but certainly playing live, having live visuals in electronic music is is a good thing to have in my opinion oh so yeah you, you know it's it's always i i thought always like i make i make i don't make a lot of music but sometimes i make a song and i think like oh yeah i'll put it on youtube but yeah. then you don't have a video or something <laughs> yeah you yeah, know? yeah yeah and then uh, and then i see other videos and they have all these animations in there and uh yeah and i never got to this to do that so there's no music video of my yeah. music yeah, online yeah. And uh, this makes it very easy, actually, yeah. and on the fly, and it reacts to your music, and you can uh, combine it to. Uh, uh, oh. Yeah, it got a lot of modulation points, yeah. uh, which you can integrate in your sequence, which you can connect to uh, envelopes or to your gate and uh, uh, oh, fire wow. stuff. So it is really flexible. So uh, it's really thing. connected to the music because you can. You can get those gates. You can get the CV and the modulation yes, yes. And, and apply it. So do you want to run us through a little kind yeah. of? Yeah. So uh, I, j I just uh, uh, turn uh, one on. Uh, let's go in here. We have some music. So uh, so this is you can have per project. You can have eight different animations. And so I, I mapped now different parameters to the faders of the uh, launch control. And uh, you can see on the video screen it's actually reacting. Uh, to the music now, to the time of the music. Uh, so I switched to another animation. Oh. It got also alpha so you can blend between the <laughs> original screen and... Uh, yeah, that's handy.
just browse through them. So there are hundreds and thousands of animation because it's based on shaders and uh, there are big uh, communities uh, on the internet of people uh, who make shaders. Can you just explain for us what a shader is? A sh a shader is, 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 is a block of code actually. Yeah. It's really it's, it's C, a C language. Yeah. And and people that do animations with it. It's based on GPUs. Yeah. Which has which now for gaming yeah. actually uh, to have like a uh, super slick graphics. Yeah. And I can uh, I integrated this then in here to, to support uh, shaders. But you don't need to know any programming. Uh, you, you don't, don't need. need to know you C. can just so. Yeah. With, with the, with the uh, video expander and uh, on the website there are 400 uh, plus uh, different animations. You can make your own animations if you're into shader programming. So I was not before I started with that. And it took me some days because I know C language. Yeah. It took me just two or three days and I could yeah. make my own animations. Right, okay. So uh, that's cool. And it's, it's uh, quite, uh, quite fun and uh, the fact that it uh, that you can just have any modulation point yeah. uh, connected to the music or the time because yeah. shaders are running also in a time uh, frame. Yeah. You can just uh, connect it to your own. Uh <laughs> That's great. And it's all kind of stuff uh, possible here. So does does it have a sequencing channel per se in yeah, here? You, yes, it has, but you don't need one. Okay. So in, in, in this case here, I just connected uh, signals together, uh, which reacts on on the on the main sequence. But you can handle, have an own track uh, of it, where you have instead of music notes, you put in the video commands, change modulation, switch to another uh, animation, Love or it. do this kind of stuff. And it runs just like with the nurse patterns that you can clip launch uh, stuff. You could do it the same way with the video. So it can, uh, yeah, you can just jump around and uh, launch different kind of things, just like a music track. Wicked. So uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, ni nicely integrated and. Uh, uh, Fun to play with it. Yeah, right. And uh, yeah, and it's out of the box. You just put a. If you have another shader, you just put it on the SD card, and then you can just load it, and it's it's in there. And uh, with the beta test phase now, already some people made their own shaders and uh, shared them with us. So that's uh, yeah, quite a nice thing. So I hope this will happen more. So so we can have some uh, yeah, some special uh, uh, animations. But that's the there are 400 plus animations. You keep browsing. It's like yeah. browsing samples. Yeah. You just keep browsing yeah, yeah. and browsing. Oh, that looks. Oh, that yeah. looks good. That looks yeah. good. So it's uh, quite nice. And yeah, combine it to your sound and uh, make some uh, nice uh, animations for free. Fantastic. Which is uh, yeah. It just keeps getting better. And I do like the way you can go then back to your programming screen. Yes, very of course, quickly yeah. as well. That that's great. And then. <laughs> When you get bored of programming, oh, I'll just watch some visuals for a little <laughs> of bit. You course, know? <laughs> of course, yeah. I combined it. Yeah. Um, yeah, and, and next to that, I added the tables for all kind of uh, uh, track types. And tables is a sequencer in the sequencer, where you can create uh, sub-sequences within each step or multiple steps. So quite interesting for MIDI kind of stuff, to do MIDI delays and special velocity effects. and. Uh, with MIDI and uh, so it has been for modular tracks but now it's for every track available Fantastic. which is also main thing for a lot of people so I need to go home and update my firmware which has uh, <laughs> finally been added Fantastic. So, yeah and a lot of small stuff as usual uh, uh, to improve uh, things yeah. uh, brilliant uh, it just keeps getting better yeah it just Thank keeps getting better and it's, yeah, this is a big uh, point and I'm curious to see uh, what people are doing uh, with the visual kind yeah. of stuff uh, as also yeah. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Well yes. done. Thanks, man.